Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be solving a few bond related questions, um, starting from something very basic like finding the price of a bond to something pretty challenging, which is finding the price of a bond for a company that is in financial distress and you know several things in between. What I suggest you do is at the start of every question, pause the video, try and do it yourself, and then watch me solve it. I'll be solving the questions using both formulas and financial calculator. That way, if you have a preferred method, you'll be able to gain something from this video. And before we start, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel as it is the best way to support me and my desire to bring high quality, easy to consume tutorials to you at no cost. So without further delay, please enjoy this video and let me know if you have any questions. In question number one, we've asked you a basic question. So this bond has a coupon rate of 8%, a face value of 1000. Coupons are paid semi-annually and there are 10 years remaining until maturity. The bond is priced to yield 9%. What is the value of the bond? So it's basic uh, price of a bond question, present value question. So I'll use the formula first and then I'll show you how to do it with the financial calculator as well. So the first thing you're going to need, regardless of which method you choose, is the coupon payment. So for the coupon payment, we're going to take the face value and multiply it by the coupon rate. Then we're going to divide it by two because the coupons are paid semi-annually. So we've got a payment of $40. Next, I'm going to take the yield to maturity and divide it by two, once again, because the coupons are paid semi-annually. So my rate in this question will be 0 0.09 divided by two, which is 0 0.045 or four and a half percent. So I typically like to call my rate K. You can call it R, you can call it whatever you want. Okay, so now to find the present value of a bond, we have uh, a long formula. It's basically a combination of an ordinary annuity and a lump sum. So the price of the bond is 40, which is the coupon payment, multiplied by one minus one plus the rate to the power negative n. So since there are 10 years remaining until maturity, but the bond pays coupons semi-annually, we have 20 payments remaining. So I'll put that to the power of negative 20, all that divided by 0 0.045. So that is the annuity portion, that is for the coupon payment, plus the face value discounted back at 4.5% for 20 periods, and that is to account for the face value. So you, so you should get a price of $934.96. Now, if you wanted to do this on a financial calculator, your coupon payment would become the payment. So we'd set PMT to 40. The IY is 4.5. That is the same rate as if you were using the formula. Future value, 1,000. That is the face value. N is 20. So it's the same values as we used above, just plugged into your financial calculator. So if I do that, 40 is payment, 4.5 IY, 1,000 FV, 20 N, compute, present value. And you see that we get exactly the same number. In question number two, we've asked you to solve for the yield to maturity. Now for this, you're going to need to do it on the financial calculator. Otherwise you would just be approximating. So we've got a coupon rate of 10%, a face value of a thousand paid semi-annually. So once again, the first thing I would do is find the coupon payment by taking the face value times the coupon rate divided by two. So we've got a payment of $50. There are eight years remaining until maturity, so my N will be eight times two, because there are 16 payments remaining. The bond is currently quoted at 98.5. That is a bond quote. That means that the price today is 98.55% of the face value, so of 1,000. That means that the bond right now is trading at $985.50. And our face value is 1,000. So I have my PMT, which is the coupon, I have N, I have present value, and I have future value. Now what's going to be important here is that you set your present value to negative when you punch it into the calculator so that the calculator understands the direction of the cash flows. The present value goes in one direction because the investor would be paying that. The coupon payment and the future value go in the opposite direction because the investor would be receiving that. So now on the calculator, 50 is the payment, 
16 n 985.5 negative is the present value 1000 is the future value compute iy so we get an iy here of 5.135 now we aren't done because we set our n to 16 to account for the semi-annual payments you have to remember that this now is a semi-annual rate the yield to maturity would be what you get when you multiply that by two. So the yield to maturity is actually 10.27%. Question number three, ABC Inc. just issued a bond with a face value of $1,000. The bond pays coupons semi-annually on January 1st and July 1st. There are 12 years remaining until maturity. The bond is currently trading at $1,008.40 and yielding 10%. What is the coupon rate? So in order to solve this question, you need to first solve for the coupon payment. So this can be done using the formula, can also be done using the financial calculator. So with the formula, we're going to set the price or the present value to $1,008.40. I'm going to set the payment or the coupon as the unknown and plug that into my bond price formula. So the ordinary annuity to begin, one minus one plus 5%. Now 5% is my rate because the bond is yielding 10%, but is paid semi-annually. So my rate is 10% divided by 2. The exponent would be negative 24. Again, n is 24 because it's semi-annual and there are 12 years remaining until maturity. We divide all that by 0 0.05. Then we would discount the face value of 1,000 at 5% for 24 periods. And the goal here now is to algebraically solve for the coupon. If you were to do this on the financial calculator, you would set your present value to negative 1,008.4, future value to 1,000. The IY is 5, N, it's 24, and you'd be computing the payment. So I'll enter all this into my calculator. And for this, I get a payment of $50 and about 61 cents. If you were to use the formula above and algebraically solve for C, you would get the same thing. Now it might be off a little bit depending on how you rounded. But in theory, it should be exactly the same. Now, since this is a semi-annual coupon, the last step would be to convert that to a percentage and then multiply it by two. So if the payment is $50.61 on a $1,000 face value, that is 5.061% times two, because a coupon rate should be expressed on an annual basis, and this would be a semi-annual payment. So the coupon rate is approximately 10.12%. In question number four, we've asked you to find the cash price of the bond. Now, in order to do this, we first need to find the accrued interest. So it says today is January 1st, 2023. Bill is purchasing a bond with a face value of $1,000 and a coupon rate of 14%. The coupons are paid on December 31st and June 30th. The bond is currently quoted at 105.44. So the first thing I need is the accrued interest. Now to find the accrued interest, I need to calculate how many days have passed since the previous payment. Now this one's a little bit easy because only 21 days have passed. The previous payment would have been on December 31st. Today is January 21st. So first step, let's find our coupon payment. The face value is $1,000. The coupon rate is 14% divided by two because it's semi-annual. We have a coupon payment of $70 every six months, semi-annually. For the accrued interest, You'll take that payment and multiply it by 21, which is the number of days that have accumulated since the previous payment date, divided by 181, which is the total number of days from December 31st until June 30th. The idea here is that you've accrued or you've accumulated 21 days worth of interest out of a 181 day period. So the accrued interest is $8.12. Next would be to convert that quote into a price. So if it's quoted at 105.44 of the face value, the quoted price 
would be $1,054.40. Once again, that is because a quote is simply a percentage of the face value. So 105.44% of a thousand. And finally, the cash price would be the sum of the two things we just found. So $1,054.40 plus $8.12. So the answer is $1,062.52. That would be the cash price. That would be how much Bob or Bill, excuse me, would have to pay to buy this bond today. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you found it useful. Once again, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will read them and answer them. And I'll see you all at the next video.